A great woodworker knows how to hide their mistakes. Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm here to show you some woodworking repairs so you can learn how to be a better woodworker. This is a large round table brought to us by a customer. They purchased it from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. The edge veneer was peeling off, so our project was to make sure the veneer looked as good as new. The first step of this repair is to find a veneer that matches the table. I was able to source some tight grained oak veneer that matches the existing veneer perfectly. When I work on a repair, I look for the reasons why something failed. The problem with this veneer is that it wasn't glued on properly. The contact adhesive might have soaked in too much to the MDF substrate and needed a second coat of adhesive. Another reason could be that the veneer wasn't applied with enough pressure to make good contact before the adhesive cured. Once the veneer has been removed, it's just a matter of sanding it down and making it smooth and ready for the glue. I cut the veneer pieces a half inch larger than the thickness of the table. I squared up the ends so they would line up well and hide the seams. I needed seven pieces to go around the table, so I cut ten just in case I made a mistake. I applied an even coat of contact cement to all the surfaces, making sure I had full coverage. Once it cured, I had 45 minutes to apply the veneer. Once contact cement touches, there's no way to adjust the piece. So to make sure I aligned the veneer properly, I set up a jig with a quarter inch space between the jig and the bottom of the table. This would ensure the veneer would be centered on the edge of the table. small block of softwood, I was able to apply a good amount of pressure per square inch to make sure the adhesive made really good contact. For the last seam, I had the foresight to place some wax paper onto the start of the first section of veneer to prevent it from sticking. I overlapped the last seam and cut through both pieces at once with a fresh blade. Then it was easy to remove the cutoff of the first section and remove the wax paper. This allowed me to press in the final section of an ear and make a perfect seam. Once the edges were trimmed, I used a sanding block to brand over the edges and make sure there was a seamless transition between the existing veneer and the new veneer edge. Now it's ready for the finish. Successfully matching new wood to an existing finish can take years of experience. I called my buddy Tracy Osmond, who has been doing this for decades, to stain and finish the table. Now it's as good as new. To apply veneer to a curved surface, here are the keys to success. If you're doing a repair, make sure you select a veneer with a suitable grain pattern. Make sure that your seams are lined up well and make sure they're square. Use a jig to align the veneer while assembling. And don't forget to use wax paper onto the start of that first piece to prepare it for the final seam. Then cut that final seam using one pass with a sharp knife. 